installment of Learning While Growing. This week we're going to check on last week's compost and see how that's getting along. You'll also learn how to plant your own seeds with reusable zero waste materials. Speaking about reusing and repurposing materials, what about leftovers? What are you going to do with your leftovers this week? Well, we've got a super easy tip for you to try out. All this and so much more in this week's installment of Learning While Growing. Alright guys, remember that compost that we put together that we started last week? Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, there's been some rain so there's a lot of moisture in it. Caroline, what do you think it's going to look like next week? Mold. Mold? That's a good guess. Why do you think there's going to be mold? Because moisture. Right. When compost has too much moisture, mold grows on it. But that's okay. That's part of the decomposition process. Um, and mold usually blooms and then goes away within a few days once everything dries out. But it looks like Everything is decomposing nicely so far, you know, starting to look a little bit like dirt. So tune in next week and we'll do an update then. If you like this week's video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. Hello everyone, my name is Armando from New Jersey Climate Save. And today I'm going to show you where I store my compost from home and where it will be going in a few minutes. Wow. So I put the compost to the side so this way you have somewhere to store it and you don't have to go in and out always throwing your compost out and you keep your kitchen nice and tidy. So I use a regular bucket and on our compost today we have skin from a squash that we cooked yesterday, avocado peels, potato peels, orange peels, coffee ground. You can add pretty much any vegetable or fruit into your compost, but you do not want to add any type of animals or animal products into your compost if you happen to have those in your kitchen. This winter I've been using the compost as a ground cover. FYI, when you use the compost as a ground cover, it may attract some animals it could be all types of animals but this year we've seen a lot of birds actually eating some of the compost which is pretty cool uh, you get to bird watch when you are outside uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to find some bare ground if you want to hide your compost if you want to make a hole in the ground and you can throw the compost in there that's ideal that's preferable but I just throw mine outside. I just dump it. And this, is, this will not stay here all year round. Once the soil is ready to plant, I'm going to collect it all and put it in a bigger compost bin so it can properly break down. Right now, like I said, I'm just using it as a ground cover to protect the soil and to provide food so, for the birds, uh, for example. Let me know if you have any questions. So, comments. while you're outside tending to your garden, you'll be getting plenty of sun, which is also great for maintaining a healthy immune system. Why does the sun help with immunity? Well, when our skin absorbs sunlight, our body creates what is commonly known as vitamin D, which energizes our infection-fighting cells. So, basically, the sunlight energizes our own bodies, naturally occurring superhero cells, so we can better maintain a healthy immune system. Save and I'm going to show you how to start your seeds from scratch using sustainable zero waste uh, items. All right, so also besides using the toilet paper roll, you can use just a regular paper cup 
And I'm gonna show you here also how to use a regular plastic bottle to make uh, also a, a pot to plant your seeds. So you're gonna see here, all you're gonna do is just cut the bottle in half. Make sure uh, if you have, if you're gonna use anything sharp like a scissors, make sure your parents are watching and supervising you. So you're just literally gonna cut the bottle in half. And you can use the bottom for one pot and you can use the top also as a, as a, a, a pot or you can use this to put your water. You take the, co the cover off and you can use, you can put the soil on this one and the water on this one and it will be your pot ready to water. All right, now that you have the bottle cut in half, you can add a little piece of newspaper, add it to the bottom. So what this will do, it will allow the soil not to go on the bottom. Not make a mess. You can see here, you add your soil. You can add, you add the seed and then you throw some soil right on top, okay? Now you add some water. So this will remove any air spots in the soil. It will wet, wet the seed and any extra water will move to the bottom. So this is actually a self-watering pot. You can add water as needed. You can probably fill it almost all the way to the top and the water will just keep the soil moist. Remember to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. I'm Candace, and this is the queen of compost herself, Caroline. Tell everybody what they need for this video. Water wool, seeds, um, maca, scissors, little girl scissors, and um, soil, and newspapers, some, some water, a shovel, and you, we are going to make be making this today. Everybody has these in their house, right? Just take one of these and cut it in half, like this. into it. See that? Yes. And do that. Put that. Cuts that are opposite each other. One, two, two, three. All right, and then. I'm doing this one. There you go. And then you have a little seed starter. And then you need the newspaper to spread out over your work area. To keep it nice and neat. All right, and what's the first step you do? You put soil in it. Go ahead. We're just halfway. Because we're gonna put the seeds in, and then and then what? Cover it up. Right. All right. What do you want to put in yours? Would you like cucumbers? Yes. Here are cucumber seeds. Get a close up of those. Cucumbers. Then we have tomato seeds. Look it. how tiny. If you think those are tiny, wait till you see the basil seeds. Look at that. And we have squash seeds. Those are nice and big. All right, choose which ones you would like to put in your little pots. All right, and then once you have your seeds in there, what do you do? Cover them up. Cover 
room up with more soil, right? <laughs> The great thing about these little pots is that when you're ready to transplant them into the ground, you can just put the whole pot into the ground. What's green, easy to grow, and great for your immune system? One of the best ways to maintain and increase the health of your immune system is by adding herbs to your diet. There is one powerhouse family of herbs, which are super easy to grow and pack a pretty hefty immunity punch. That is the Lamiaceae family of herbs, also known as mint. Some of the plants included in the Lamiaceae family are holy basil, thyme, oregano, rosemary, sage, peppermint, spearmint, and many more. Some of the reasons mints are so good for immunity boosting is that they are full of antioxidants and antiviral properties. Wait, what are antioxidants and antiviral properties? Well, an antioxidant is a substance, like vitamin C or E, that can prevent or slow the damage to cells caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that the body produces as a reaction to environmental and other pressures. Antioxidants remove the free radicals in a living organism. They are basically superhero cells that eliminate or seriously incapacitate the bad guy cells in our bodies. Antivirals kill the virus or suppress its ability to replicate by inhibiting its capability to multiply and reproduce. Basically, antivirals are also superhero cells that eliminate or incapacitate the bad guy virus cells in our bodies. Hi, my name is Anish, and I'm growing parsley in my home garden. Parsley is a medicinal herb, and it can be used for making tea and adding flavor to your food. My parsley was um, grown throughout the winter, and it stayed alive, but you can also buy parsley and seeds and plant it at home. So what we have is we have some spinach wraps, we have some spinach tortillas, some olive br bruschetta, some vegan mayonnaise, some leftover broccoli. You can use anything that has protein in it. And so and then we have some iceberg lettuce. Yeah, and actually a cool trick is if you cut the um broccoli and wait 45 minutes then it that's when it's best we also have some avocados we have a knife Catching up with us this week on Learning While Growing. 